Today we'd like to discuss with you a brand new concept in compact music systems. But first, let's discuss the lineage of the product that we'll show you a little later on in this tape. The center concept from Bang & Olufsen has been a very successful concept for many, many years. In the United States, in 1978, we brought out the BioCenter 7000. It was the first successful product that combined a record player, a tape, and a radio in one sleek component that was easy to operate, easy to understand, and easy to place in the home. In 1987, we upgraded this idea to the BioCenter 9000. The 9000 replaced the phono with CD, was far more sophisticated with respect to how it operated, and, and the materials we used were far more luxurious. The 9000 gave way to the 9500, which is still a successful center today. But as you can see, the tri-center idea, having the three most used sources of the day in one center configuration, has been very successful for us and a very easy to understand system. In 1991, we brought out a new concept. We reconfigured the center concept into the Beosystem System 2500. The 2500 stands up and presents to you all the sources, so they're very easy to understand, very easy to operate. Combine that with a pair of bi-amplified loudspeakers, which give you very rich, full sound in a small, compact size, and you've got the best compact music system available today. But what about taking the next step into the rapidly growing compact music system business? The design concept of most compact music systems is pretty much limited to just stacking boxes, like stacking shoe boxes. No matter how you stack them or configure them, they're still just boxes. Add to that some patch cables and some speaker wire, and of course some display lights. Stir gently, and you pretty much have your garden variety compact music system. Not very interesting, not very easy to operate, not very easy to integrate into your home. We would now like to ask you to forget everything you've heard or seen about compact music systems. Bang & Olsen is proud to introduce the compact music system for the next century, the Biosound 2000. compact disc player, FM AM radio, auto reverse cassette deck, and a pair of bi-amplified speakers in one sleek package, the Biosound 2000 is a distinct upgrade from the common compact music systems that you're used to. The warm colors and the soft shapes and lines are attractive to both women and male buyers, which is something the hi-fi business is generally not very good at. The Biosound 2000, like most Bang & Olsen products, is also finished on all sides. It allows you more flexibility in positioning the product in your home. The Biosound 2000 is, as well, a true plug-and-play product. Let me show you how easy it is to set it up. You can position the system on the provided table base like this, or wall mount the system with an optional bracket. Now let's slide the front glass plate in place. Make sure you look for the word up on this bracket before you slide it in. Next. Let's unlock the transport suspension for the CD. Use the tool supplied with the system. Turn counterclockwise until the screw spins freely. They will stay there until you decide to haul the system to your favorite winter getaway. Biosound 2000 comes with an active antenna. Position the antenna like this as you thread in the supplied screws. If the connection for the power supply is toward the system, you've got it right. Notice that the antenna also serves as a carrying handle. Route the lead through this channel and plug it in. Now simply plug into your AC outlet and we're ready to play music. The Beosound 2000 embodies a number of core competences or specific talents that Bang & Olufsen uses in its product design. For instance, in the loudspeakers, the Biosound 2000 utilizes the loudspeaker technology first developed for the Biolab 2500 and is now incorporated in four of our products. Closely matching the drivers to the electronics, using powerful bi-amplification, carefully applied equalization, and a sophisticated crossover network, these ported speakers provide amazingly rich, detailed sound belying their very small size. Materials. The rich cloth of the loudspeaker grill, the tempered front glass, 
the high quality thermoplastics used to mold the cabinet and operating surfaces ensure long life, both operationally and aesthetically. Human engineering. A new system of guided operation is a hybrid of our menu-driven sense-of-touch panels of the other systems and physical buttons. The buttons are backlit only if they are pertinent to the next operation. For instance, when you press radio, only the buttons that perform radio functions will illuminate. In general, the access to the software, the ease of operation, and the pleasing lines and proportions make the Biosound 2000 appealing to any consumer. Clever electromechanical operation. Like all Bang & Olsen products, the Biosound 2000 is animated by reliable, creative electromechanical devices. The Biosound 2000's magic open glass door and CD loading mechanism are examples of this. Aha, here comes a Biosound candidate now. Hi, I'm Keith from Bang & Olufsen, and you are? Hi, I'm Carol. I've heard lots of great things about the Bang & Olufsen telephones, and I was hoping you could show them to me. Oh, they're wonderful, and I'd love to, can, but can we do that in a few minutes? I have a, I have a little a surprise for you. Oh. A, a concept, an audio system concept that we've just come out with. Okay. Do you have a minute? Sure. Okay. It's the Biosound 2000. Oh. It's a compact music system mm -hmm. that can be put in any room of your house. It's very easy to place in, the, in your household. Um, it incorporates a CD player, tape, radio, and a pair of amplified speakers all in one package. What do you think? It's beautiful. Can you believe that this company was founded in 1925 and has such beautiful design to this very day? Mm, it's really lovely. It's wonderful. Should we operate it? Sure. Sure. Can you wave your hand and introduce yourself to the system in front of the buttons in front of the glass there? Aha. Neat. The magic open door. Now touch load, if you would. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. That's slick. We put the CD in here, label out. Uh -huh. And now touch the CD button. Okay. Ooh. Guess what you've just done? What? You've turned on four amplifiers, a preamp. You've brought up the volume levels, the bass and treble levels to where you normally listen to them. Uh -huh. Turned on the CD player and told it to play all in one button. And that's just a bunch of technical talk of what, from what you'd normally do in a, in a hi-fi system that you've done with one button touch. It seems oh. incredibly easy. It's very easy. It's the one touch to music story from Bang & Olufsen. Uh -huh. Now let's wave our hand in front of the system again uh -huh. and touch radio if you would. Okay. The radio will turn on to the last station you listen to, the uh -huh. CD will pause, and then we can get around the different radio presets uh -huh. using the numeric keypad. Now touch CD again. Mm -hmm. What will happen is you, you notice you play the CD from the last note that you left off on when you played the radio. Uh -huh. We call that our morning story. If you're getting ready to go to work in the morning and you're listening to your favorite CD, you want to check the traffic reports mm -hmm. you can do so and it'll save your place on the cd so when you go back you don't have to listen from the beginning again oh, that's neat let's do something fun here and we'll put a cassette in the cassette deck all right do you record on your stereo system at home carol uh occasionally okay yes. one thing that we found that people don't record very much for their to use in their car stereo and whatnot because of the fact that it's, it's difficult it's hard to do mm -hmm. let me show you something really simple if you could Wave your hand again in front of the glass door. Mm -hmm. Now touch the record button twice. Right here. Right. Once, twice. Guess what? You're Mike making a lovely recording right now that'll turn out just excellent. Is that right? Let's let it record for just a moment, mm -hmm. and then we'll, we'll listen to your handiwork and see how well you did. I can't believe how easy it is. Oh, that's the whole idea, to use technology to make things easier for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's enough. Now wave your hand in front of it again. Uh -huh. Now, if you touch the step button to the left, there we go. Now we have to wait till oh. it stops winding. It'll find the beginning of our last recorded segment. Uh -huh. Now touch tape. Oh, right here. There you okay. go. Ah, that's what you've just I recorded. I can't believe how simple this is. I generally don't do it at home because it just looks too complicated, sounds too complicated. That's what we hear all the time, and people oh. who buy our product tend to record more to enjoy more of the facets of their audio system. Very nice. Isn't that lovely? Yes, it's beautiful. Now, the Biosound 2000 is available in four different colors. Uh -huh. It's in the, the green color that you see here, yes. and as well, we have it in gray, uh -huh. a Bordeaux red, 
and a very deep, rich blue. Oh. They're beautiful colors. Uh -huh. What do you think about the uh, 2000 system? Would you like one for yourself? It's, it's really neat. How much is it? It's 1995. Mm, very nice. It comes, comes complete with a remote control as well. Uh -huh. Although it looks as though you don't really need to use that unless you it's wanted to operate while you were sitting down or something. Exactly. It's yeah. very inviting to use. It welcomes you to use it all by itself. Uh -huh. It's beautiful. You know what? I think I'll take two, actually. The green would look super in our den, and I'd love the blue for our bedroom. Oh, that'd be great. Listen, great. Let's, let's step up to the front. I'll show you the telephones, and then we'll take care of you on a couple of these systems. Very okay? good. Great. Thank you very much. All right. Let's, let's go do it. Unfortunately, not all sales are going to be that easy. There are some secondary functions that will help you on a day-to-day -day basis to sell more based on 2000s. One is the Start Go feature. Start Go is a tape feature that allows you to listen to your tape from the very first track without having to rewind it and then initiate play again. You simply touch the number one, as you see illuminated here, while you're listening to tape. The tape will rewind to the beginning and automatically begin to play. So you don't have to walk back to the system or go find the remote control. It's very important to know how to set the sound settings in the Biosound 2000 so that your favorite volume level, favorite bass and treble uh, levels will always come up every time you turn on the system. Very simple to do. You just simply touch the sound button and it scrolls through each function. Once gets you volume, twice gets you balance. A third time, bass, the bottom, treble, and then finally loudness. To set any one of these, you simply touch the volume arrows up or down until you see the appropriate display. Once you have everything just the way you like it, simply touch sound, store, and store again, and all of your settings will be locked in. So the next time you play BSN 2000, it'll sound just the way you like it. It's also a great feature for when you're setting up your auto demo so that the volume is correct for your store. A wonderful tool that the Biosound 2000 gives you is called the Auto Demo. The Auto Demo allows you to set up the Biosound 2000 to be an active participant in your store from a day, on a day-to-day -day basis. Here's how it works. To turn on Auto Demo for a 24-hour cycle, simply touch Standby 2001, and the Biosound 2000 will set up cyclical demonstrations that are about three to four minutes long. You can see it beginning now. That will continuously run all day long. If you would like to stop this presentation so that you could show a customer more in-depth functions of the system, simply touch standby and you'll be right back into the normal playing mode. Now, let's say it's a busy Saturday afternoon and you just want to show one cycle of this to a customer while you're wrapping something else up at the front counter. Very simple. Touch standby 2000 and the Biosound 2000 will give you one cycle of the demonstration. That'll show the customer all of the aspects of the system in a very, very simple fashion while you're busy with something else for a moment. A wonderful convenience feature is synchronous CD record. It allows you to record a CD either from the beginning or from a specific track very simply best to show you how, it's, how it works. We'll go wake up Biosound 2000. Now, if I'm playing a CD, for instance, I can record from a specific track very simply. I just touch the record button, which puts the cassette deck into record pause. The track number that I want, let's say four. Now, when I touch record the second time, I've begun my recording from the very first note of the fourth track. Very simple. To stop my recording, I simply have to touch either step to get back to the beginning of my recording and stay in pause, or stop, which gives me a professional four second blank spot between this recording and my next. To start from the beginning of the CD, it's again very simple. We'll start from a standby position. First, CD, as soon as it's available, Touch stop, and then simply touch record and record again. 
and the automatic record levels take care of the rest, you're making a very fine tape. When you're playing a CD, there's a couple of secondary functions that will come in very handy. Touch CD, one touch to music, you were playing a CD. Now, if I want to see a different display, right now I'm looking at the track number. Touch CD again, it'll show me my elapsed time. A third time, it'll show me my remaining time on the disc, which was wonderful for making decisions on how much of the CD will fit on a tape when you're recording. I can also randomize the tracks on, a C on the CD using the mode button. Touching mode twice will put me into the random play. Touching twice again will defeat that feature. Very simple. As we mentioned earlier, the Biosound 2000 comes equipped with an active FM antenna. But if you're living downtown and signals are very strong, you may want to deactivate the antenna because you may overload the tuner. In the standby position, touch standby, tune, zero, store, and you've deactivated the antenna. To turn it back on, just a simple standby, tune, one, store, and it's reactivated. Make note that this is a standby function, so the buttons will not backlight. You have to look a little closer to be able to do that function. S stepping along in the tuner mode, a very, very important feature of the Biosound 2000 is an auto skip tune. Rather than have to individually memorize each radio station in your particular area, it's very simple to load up the presets, of which there are 30. I simply must touch, in the radio mode, <clears throat> tune and hold store for two seconds. And the BSON 2000 will begin at the beginning of the radio frequency bandwidth for FM and, and memorize each strong signal up to 30 presets which will all be available then on the numeric keypad below. Besides the auto skip tune, there are three other ways to tune in radio stations. We're playing radio. Now, you can, you can access your favorite radio stations either by the preset that they're located in. You can also step up and down to the different presets. As well, you can touch tune and step, and it will scan down to the next strongest signal. Finally, you can touch tune and the frequency that you're looking for. It will tune in to your radio station by frequency. Here I've given it a frequency that doesn't exist, so it gave me a question mark. Let me try that again. Tune. Nine, three, seven. And I've now tuned in my favorite radio station. Now I can store that station in any preset that I like. Touching tune, store, and store again. It'll put it in the last preset location that is unoccupied. While listening to radio as well, if you touch radio again when, you're, when the preset station is in, or preset number is in the display, touch radio again, it'll show you the frequency to remind you what frequency you're listening to. Notice through all these operations that we have a guided operation. Only the buttons that are pertinent to the next operation are illuminated. Those which are not pertinent to the next operation are not illuminated. For instance, if I go into Record pause, and then record a number of my choices go away. Only the things that I can do next while I'm making this recording are illuminated. That simplifies the operation. The Biosound 2000 also comes with a remote control. It's called the BioLink 1000. You may be familiar with it. The BioLink 1000 features group buttons and facets on the front operating surface. So you'll find yourself actually being able to find functions without actually even looking at the remote control. It also has a high frequency, high output operation for infrared so that you can operate your system from virtually any place in the room. The BioLink 1000 is heavy. You'll find that it's very heavy. 
It's cast of zinc, actually, which is a very tough material to work with. But there are two things that are wonderful about it. One is that it has a high ability to disperse heat, which makes it comfortable to operate and comfortable in your hand over a long function of time. Secondly, we know in the real world, remote controls spend a lot of time on the floor. The B-Link 1000 can take this kind of punishment and work time and time again for you. Thank you for allowing me to present to you the Biosound 2000. I hope you agree with me that it's a very revolutionary and extremely fun product. My name is Keith Leonardson from Bang & Olufsen. I hope you sell a ton of these and have a lot of fun doing it. Thank you.